the full retort video 99.2 percent of you guys are not sub please help me out by giving me a sub let's get right into the video what is up guys and in this video we're going to show you guys how to start or i'll show you guys a basic guide how to get a basic class now when you spawn most likely you will be spawning in the area called the gray garden now this is a sort of town which sells spare swords and the push dagger now i'll show you guys how to actually change your sword and basically when you spawn you, sh you spawn with sword if you want to get a dagger you'll have to farm some money so you either just spawn where i spawned right there or you spawn right there basically around the main center of the gray garden now you run forwards or you run right and forwards until you find this area as you can see when you see this area you just want to run through it and when you run through it make sure to not fall off because it's very dangerous as there's a pit right there and if you fall off you're gonna die now you don't wanna die even though there's no real consequence to die in this game it's not a permitive game and really it's just a uh, it just seems similar to rogue even though it doesn't share the same mechanics as rogue even though it does share the same exp you know mechanic get xp from killing monsters and uh, progress through you know uh, super classes space classes and um that's real all they have currently base class and super class i think i don't think there are any ultra class right now basically you come here and when you come here usually this spawns a golem here and usually a lot of people are here and if you're alone you have to fight him alone and so you just wait for the cooldowns until the cooldowns run out until the golem can spawn and you get like 70 gold for every golem kill and you get like 45 to 50 exp every you know um golem you kill it depends um i'm not really sure the exp but it's pretty difficult to fight them solo so make sure usually there are always people if you're in packed server like if there are many people in there most likely than not there will be many you know people waiting for the golem because this is the easiest to farm you just stand here exactly here and you basically just farm them um you just wait in the abyssal heights this is called the abyssal heights if you didn't know already the area i'm currently in is called the abyssal heights so you stand in the abyssal heights and just wait for the golem to spawn and farm the golem with a bunch of people and every single one of you might get the golem so the golem drop i'm not really sure exactly the percentages maybe you know, it's a certain percentage it's not guaranteed anyway because before i tried to kill the golem and i didn't get a yeah, you know golem fang whatever it's called golem something he drops something called let me check a golem eye so he drops you get this eye basically and it sells for like 70 75 and it's a lot of money and the kill gives you like 10 gold alone so you get like if you sell and get the kill you get like 80 gold per and our to buy a new weapon is usually like around 150 so you see where this is going right you just have to kill like two golems right two golems so you get enough to buy either a dagger or a spear um now the problem here is the golem doesn't spawn very it takes a long time for him to spawn that's the issue i have obviously there are people that are okay but i mean you don't lose anything right you don't lose if they kill you you don't lose anything if they kill you and usually you can kill them off it's very difficult to kill these people you know i'll show you just real quick like some pvp right here so as you can see now everybody's wanting to kill each other i don't know why i thought we were supposed to kill this one guy not everybody else but it seems we're all fighting each other uh, maybe they were doing pvp but well i think i'm going to die actually jeez but you understand the concept, right? You wait for the golem to spawn, the golem comes and you kill them. It's that simple, really. Jesus. Well, whatever. I just uh, pa pause when I get to the abyssal heights once again. So now we're back at the abyss. Um, basically, before we move on, obviously you know the abyssal heights where showed you guys where everybody's fighting, um, the golem and stuff. Um, I want to show you this. If you click the book, you can find the information you have about yourself. So. You have your titles, obviously I have the victim, you get that from getting killed. Um, you also have your level, you also have your EXP, and you have your kill. So if you like, I, you can see this and you can see I've killed six, seven people sacrifices. I'm not sure, maybe you have to like bring somebody and like, um, you know, it's like, I don't know really what sacrificing means, but anyway, whatever. This place right here spawns twigs. Twigs are, you know, the golem is the boss, but the twigs are like mini, like it's basically the schooms of rogue lineage. If you understand what I'm saying, like they're they're weak, while um, while the golem being like the shrieker, you know. So 
if you understand what I'm trying to say, these are small mobs while um, the golem is more like a boss. That's why you need multiple people to kill the golem. While the twigs you can do so now. Even though they're multiple, they usually spawn in groups. So make sure like you have to, have to take one by one. Just like the scrooms. Um they are I've honestly never seen them spawn because I don't know their spawn times. Maybe I'm just unlucky and I don't see their spawn. Basically, they spawn here, okay? You you come out here and you just wait for them to spawn exactly at this tree this big tree with uh, you know space under it and when you wait there you they spawn and you kill them and i don't know exactly the exp or the money because i haven't seen them ever in the game maybe there, there's a bug that doesn't make them spawn or i have been unlucky but uh, more or less that is as simple as it is about what you need to do you kill the golem of course and then you kill these and they get maybe enough exp to buy a new sword and when you buy the new sword or the item of your choice whether it be a dagger or a spear um you choose that and then you have to find your base class trainer uh first you have to make sure you have like 350 silver so you basically once again farm the mobs of this mob locations i've showed you just farm them get all your skills obviously you need exp as well if you're going to trainer if you play role in it you are aware that you need exp and this is the same you have to get exp for your classes you have to get exp for your skills now get your exp by leveling up i think if you don't don't the first skill is like level four for me anyway for me to get this uh, luns and blade I had to be level 4 to get that. It's that simple really. You'll have to find your base class trainer on your own. I'm not going to show you every base class trainer in this video. Otherwise this video will be like 20 to 30 minutes long. I'm not going to do that. Find it yourself. Use the deep pocket info or not deep pocket. What I'm saying. I mean um, the verdant whatever verdant moon info. And just do that. 